Google is looking to dominate the AI coding space. Microsoft wants to diagnose disease in minutes. A new startup builds an 11 Labs beta in just three months, and the robots take on soccer. Here's today's AI news. Testing Catalog has reported that Google are working on a new visual interface for AI Studio that allows developers to see the output of the code they are developing live as it is being constructed. It may be that the user can also interact with the rendered output to make direct changes on the canvas. They report that this feature is close to being completed and should roll out soon. Google seems determined to ensure that they are at the forefront of AI coding tools, and we're very pleased to see it. In a video put out today by Microsoft's CEO, Satya Nadella, he explains how AI is accelerating advances in healthcare, and in particular, disease diagnostics. The video demonstrates their dedicated medical diagnostic tool, DXGPT, an AI tool designed to diagnose rare diseases where a potential diagnosis can be achieved in minutes rather than months or years. As so much diagnostic work is down to spotting patterns, AI naturally excels at this type of task. Sometimes it's easy to be pessimistic about the impact of AI, but this reminds us that there's also many reasons to be optimistic. An incredibly impressive startup story has emerged with a text-to-speech model called DIA. Nari Labs was started by two undergrads who loved the podcast feature in Notebook LLM so much that they decided to build their own text-to-speech model. And in just three months, with very limited resources, they trained a 16 billion parameter model that many are claiming is better than 11 labs. In their first 24 hours since launch, they're trending number two on Hugging Face. A remarkable achievement. And finally, even football stars aren't safe from the rise of the robots. The Booster T1 humanoid robot from Booster Robotics is seen showing off its soccer skills with a variety of tricks and shots that are quite impressive. Okay, so maybe they've still got some way to go before they mount a challenge to the humans, but everyone has to start somewhere.